everybody, this is Kelly and welcome back to my channel, My Unexpected Homeschool. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button below. Wanted to take a couple minutes and show you what we have set up for our second summer unit on dragons. Both my kids have become really interested in them and I wanted to show them that there's the fun, silly, mythical part to it, but then we also have something else too. So we have a fun creator Lego set to make our own dragon, dragon figurines, dragon rescue riders activity book, the pet dragon, a story about adventure, friendship, and Chinese characters, how to catch a dragon, the dragonling, this is four books in one. We may not read all four books, but we'll definitely look at the first one. Now this book up here is really, really cool and interesting. Excited about it. So it takes and shows you where the dragons were from, what their culture thinks that they look like and information about it. So it tells you all kinds of fun things about what different cultures thought dragons were, how they described them, just really, really interesting stories about all of these different types of dragons all throughout the world. Several Usborne books, Build Your Own Dragons sticker book, a dragon's sticker book, and then a dragon's magic painting. If you've seen my other videos, you know my kids love the magic painting books. Up here we have a fun little game. We really do love to play games as a family. So I just found dragon snacks, thought it was really cute. We have this book, Dragons. And then my kids really do love this show. So I found them a Dragon Rescue Riders book to go along with their activity book. And then we're gonna look at some real dragons. So we have flying dragons, Komodo dragons, sea dragons, bearded dragons, and then because it has the, it in its name, we have dragonflies. I wanted to take time for them to understand that we do have some real life type dragons that are not just the mythical creatures that they see in their TV show that they like. Hope this gives you just a couple little ideas of something fun you can do over the summer with your kids. If you have any comments, please leave them below.